Hi, this is Mary with the Great Outdoors University. I went on a walk earlier today and noticed a variety of different seeds that I found rather fascinating. I started to look closer at seeds and, it, and a thought came to mind. Seeds vary in the way that they are designed so that they can travel and be dispersed through a variety of methods. Some of the seeds might fly through the air when the wind blows and other seeds might travel through the water and float to a new home. And then there are seeds that actually are carried by animals fur or other methods to new locations. So your challenge today is to take a walk and notice some various seeds as you travel on your walk. You might want to walk in a pair of socks. It's a great way to pick up some seeds. Um, and once you've looked at the seeds and studied them a bit, your challenge is to create a method for a seed. For example, a dried bean that you might have in your cupboard. Create a way that that dried bean can float on water to a new home. Or the next challenge is to create a way that that dried bean might be able to fly for 10 feet to a new home through the air. And last but not least, you create a way that the bean might be able to travel on an animal's fur or perhaps on a tennis ball or sock for five feet. You can use a variety of different materials to, do, to make this happen. Find things around your house or outside and be creative, have fun. Be inspired by what's out there in nature, the many adaptations seeds have to get where they need to go keep life growing in our forest and on our land. Have a great day.